course. I'll follow you wherever you go, like this. I'll activate stealth so it doesn't attract any attention. If you need it, just bring up the start button menu. Got it. Snake, the informants who said they saw a liquid here should be a little further up. Head for the rendezvous point. I've placed a mark on the radar in the upper right corner of the solid eye. It's a war zone out there. Stay on your toes. Snake, it's kind of a schlep, but I've sent you data on an alternate route. Follow the mark on your radar. It's pretty dark in there. Switch the solid eye to night vision mode.
Pretty sweet, huh? <laughs> oh, hold it. Watch where you're pointing that thing. <laughs> Who are you? Neither enemy nor friend. <laughs> Voila. You're not with the militia, and you're not PMC. I'm a weapons wholesaler. All shapes, all sizes. But there's no need to worry, because all my shit's been laundered. Laundered? <laughs> ideas. In other words, I'm a gun launderer. You can call me Drebin. Drebin? Yeah, they use that for all of us. There are more of you? All over the world. Not that I ever met any of them personally. Me, I'm Drebin number 893. You ain't a registered PMC employee, are you? You need a guy like me. Consider it a welcome gift. Take it. The 
GM4, the official carbine model used by the U.S. Army, developed from the M16 service rifle. This one's a top-of-the-line model, real popular with the big PMCs. High precision, not like that government-issue shit. It's, uh, free-floating, of course. Relax, that barrel's clean. Is the Hyder CQC compatible? The beauty of this sucker is that it's got a lot of customizable parts. Change it up the way you want to meet your everyday needs. Flip up sight, rail system. Not bad. Yeah, well, you know, I get a lot of noobs around here. And if you need them, I got a wide selection of aftermarket parts as well. The frame's pretty rigid. No rattle. Go ahead, give a squeeze. Hmm. Huh. I can't pull the trigger. Really? That's weird. What's weird? Wait, I got it. I bet you're using an older generation of nano machines. Older generation? Sometimes they don't really jive with the new system. Seriously, who are you? Oh, slow down. My day job's working at AT Security. I'm in charge of production control. So I get my hands on all the ID chips before they even register. Have a sip. Mm -mm. It's a side of AT the public don't see. From the looks of it, you ain't with any state army. But you ain't exactly green, neither. You've got last-gen nano-machines, so I'm guessing, former U.S. Army, <laughs> I don't know what you're here for, but you want to be well-equipped, am I right? So, can we talk business or what? You won't regret it. your take on Emoticon? I don't particularly like the guy, but it looks like we'll need his help with those ID guns. Sonny's been doing a little sleuthing for us. Drebin, a well-known gun launderer in war economy circles. He's a businessman who deals mainly in selling black market firearms to small PMCs and local militia. Somalia, the Balkans, Lebanon, Darfur, Chechnya, Timor, Peru, the Punjab, Kashmir, Colombia, this guy really gets around. How's he pull it off, anyway? You can create a non-ID gun by replacing the ID recognition chip with a counterfeit version. This enables you to bypass the ID recognition process and use the gun. The problem is that there's still a record of the chip being replaced on the system side. Drebin's an employee of AT Security. He must have connections on the inside erasing records for him. You think the Patriots are involved somehow? I'm not so sure. If the Patriots were running the system from behind the scenes, then a weasel like Drebin would be a real pain in their collective